Here it is again, just as a, a close-up. You see? The separation of water versus a darker part, which is pasty. That's what you call bad blood. It's so clear, so obvious. Look at that. Finally and successful on the third attempt. This is the way it is with the wet cup, and you got to keep trying. Never give up. Okay? I personally use a hammer like this. Let's see if I can show this if it comes out in the video. Where's the, you see this? You see this? It's like nails, right? To create open pores. When I wipe it down, I'm going to use alcohol on cotton oops and I'm going to pour salt I'm going to use Himalayan salt but I'm going to start using sea salt the sea salt is really it uh, Himalayan salt still has some plastics from the sea I just learned it's no longer considered the best sea salt is far more reliable but you see all that see the separation of water you see that gel within the water this is blood I'm extracting um, I think that now the pain will go away, the discomfort, and I would say that the danger. There would have been danger in here had I not done this. Thank you for watching. I'll just do one more scoop around so you can see. I was leaning over. It's not a whole lot of blood. But it's definitely for the area. I got, I got it, right? I got that gel. I got that bad blood that was causing pain. Whenever you feel pain... It's gel-like blood, see, that will separate like this. That's why they call, that, that's why people say we don't want to have bad blood between us. Because normally, when there's tension, whether it's physical or stress or hatred or unforgiveness, uh, or you need to re ask, seek forgiveness to glorify God, um, this is what happens. You get bad blood because we weren't made. Our bodies were not made to be evil, to, to hold grudges, to be in pain emotionally or physically. This is what you got to do. Remove the bad blood. Okay? Now, spiritually, we do it by forgiving people and seeking to be forgiven. Thank you. God bless you and have a good day.